With today's lightning fast pace, full of distractions, it is now virtually impossible to achieve intentional, deep, and agile brain states in a given day. What if there was a way you could train your brain to perform better? If you could reach deeper focus and feel energized and on top of things by the time you get home, instead of exhausted and depleted from being pulled in a million different directions. Now, by combining principles of coaching science, the research of leading neuroscientists, psychiatrists, and psychologists using groundbreaking technology, Organize Your Mind is the online course that will teach you self-coaching techniques that you need to use your brain effectively and efficiently. Learn from a leading innovator, executive coach, trainer, and educator how to organize your mind. As a coach, what you see with a lot of people is that they get to the end of the day, they go home, and they're completely depleted and exhausted, which is, of course, if you're concerned about health and what you might call self-care, what you find is that people are just exhausted. Why is that? Why can't we come home with some energy in the bank? Well, if you spent your day multitasking, you know, with multiple screens open on your computer, if you've been bouncing around in this fragmented, frenzied, chaotic state all day, your brain is fried at the end of the day. Plus, you have not had the joy of being in flow, of being in deep, deep focus, which is where the juice is, where you really can get the most out of life, which is energizing as opposed to depleting. 70% of people under 34 believe they're addicted to their smartphones. What does that mean? They have lost control of their ability to regulate their attention and focus. And you've got parents who are really worried about their kids growing up with disorganized minds. You know, they go to college, they have trouble focusing. You've got older people that are worried about their brains aging and losing their memory and not quite sure how to use their minds in a way that can delay that. Then you've got the whole corporate world. The workplace is a place where we have demands for high performance, we have demands for innovation, demands for strategic thinking, and then everybody's hijacked. Too many emails, too many texts. Almost every adult is suffering today. We invented something that we call the mind locator. It could also be called the GPS for the mind. It's a two-dimensional map. One dimension goes from very high executive control, like when you're focused on nitty-gritty details like balancing your bank account or something that requires real precision, and to the other end on the far right where you let go when you're in daydreaming, mind-wandering mode. The top-down dimension has to do with where you are in your brain, the thinking brain at the top, so you're just in your head, as we say down to emptying your thinking brain and being completely in your sensory brain. So you're only experiencing, that's the map. With a Harvard psychologist, Shelley Carson, we put together 12 brain states and you see that they're color coded. So where you see orange, that means there's activity and the brighter the orange, the more activity. Blue means that region of the brain is on cold, it's inactive. We map those 12 brain states onto this locator. And when you look at it, you realize, OMG, there's a lot of places to put my brain. How do I do this? And it draws you in because you're really curious. Where do I wanna be on this map? Where am I right now? Do I live more in one domain than the other? Maybe I'm in my head a lot and I'm not in my senses. Maybe I'm really thinking and I don't let go enough. Maybe I let go, I'm a creative genius and I don't control it enough. So you get this sense of how we use our brain in a day. Next, we have the five strategies that allow you to use your brain in all these brain states beautifully. So we've made it really easy to find out where you're at. We have a quick online and organize your mind assessment. It's just 10 questions, and you'll know within a minute or two where you're at right now. And then when you look at your results, you can say, I've got room for improvement everywhere. And you might wanna just jump right in. Or you might say, oh, a couple of areas are really low here, but other areas are pretty good. So maybe that's what I'll focus on. Um, and basically our course can help you whether you wanna do all of it, 
or you realize you've got some real weak links that could make a big difference. Part of being a self-scientist is to know where you're at and to know how you're progressing and to have some sense, like a compass, of where you want to get to. And so the assessment will basically be your benchmark. It's your assessment of yourself. You give yourself your own ratings. This is the place to be authentic. No one's going to read your scores. Well coaches won't share this with anyone. So you know where you start, you see where you can improve, you focus in on that, you make those improvements, you get the results that you want. If you put all those pieces together, the biology of the brain, the coaching science, to get to this moment where we can provide a really powerful and innovative set of tools that can help millions of people. Whatever your life's vision and calling, an organized mind will get you further and get you there faster and with a whole lot more fun.